time I've last been on one of these to now is probably the Uber thing, isn't it? <clears throat> trying to sign up. Oh, that was a drama. Yeah, that was good. That was a good drama. But it's going to get but worse. Have you I signed up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> God. Have you? <laughs> Can you imagine that list? <laughs> yeah, my face. Thank you for supporting our channel. Thank you for supporting Wizan. Please like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. So there's a law that basically, if you are not a person of good character, and the thing for me about that particular one is. It's very abstract in itself. Whose definition and where would be the line that you would cross that would be a person of not good character? So we had something up the other day, didn't we, Dave, with Trevor? Yeah. He told a story of the guy that was being deemed as no good character because he reversed, and I'm get corrected if I'm wrong, but he reversed out of a street on Fleet Street, I think. Um, and in my imagination, it was um, Dorset Rise, Salisbury Square, Salisbury Court. He was reversing out of there onto Fleet Street and clipped um, a parked motorbike. Now, did he knock it over, though? He knocked it over, yeah. Knocked it over. Knocks over yeah. So he's got out of the cab, picked it back up, left his details that he's hit the motorbike, um, genuine details, and then drove off. And now he's losing his license. No joke. Losing his license on not being a fit, proper character, good character. Not suspended. Losing it for good. Yeah. For good forever. I said then, irrevocable. So, uh, and who decides that? Exactly. And, and who, you, who's that's, got that's the, the same thing as you say? The definition, isn't it? Where, where, where did what, the line what, get crossed? What's the definition of good character then? Where, where's the rules of engagement on that? So, if he would have driven off, left the bike there, he yeah. would still have his license. No one know who he was. He would still have his license. Yep. So that's encouraging people listening to this to go. Well, that I ain't gonna leave my details. Yeah, he's strung up by the. A supposed law of cab driving. I wonder how many points does it carry if he was f uh, leave, uh, leaving the scene of an accident? It's got to be got to be a ban in it. Leaving the scene of an accident. I don't know. It'd be interesting to know because it, is it more? Is it is it worse to leave the scene then? Don't leave your details. I, I thought it was quite bad. Yeah, but here's the other thing about leaving the scene. So I've got to tell a story here of something I did when we was at City Airport. I reversed my bike in to park it between two cars, and I clipped the number plate of the car. And the person whose kite was was sitting in the calf, looking out the calf window. The wife was, and he was a um, a really big guy. She he ain't seen it, and she's seen it, um, but she couldn't have seen it clearly. She's presumed by my reactions that I've clipped something. They've come storming out. You've hit the car. I said no, I didn't. And he said, uh, Yeah, you did. She saw you. I said she didn't because I didn't hear it. And I know she couldn't see the detail of me hitting it. And that was it. I was adamant. I didn't hear it. I had touched it, but where he's, he's now pointing out a mark on his car that wasn't the mark because I clipped the number plate. There was no mark. And they were being nasty and, and presuming that some damage is done. But that was it. I just basically stood my ground. I didn't hear nothing. I parked my bike up. I walked into the school and said, see ya, bye. And do what you want to do. Claim your insurance. Or what, tell him I did it, but I didn't touch it. And I think my point is that that guy in Fleet Street, had he driven away and even a witness has said he'd done it, you could just say I didn't. Uh, that fell over in the wind and I got out and picked it up as a nice guy. I don't know. Yeah, I never actually touched it. No. I went close, but never touched so it. So he's been penalised by losing his licence, being honest. Yeah, penalised for being yeah. honest. That's Apparently, he's only, he's only been his bad at 18 months. Yeah. And he was longer on the knowledge than he's been a cab driver. He's been honest, which was the argument which Karen was saying. Was he? He's obviously of good character because he left his number and name. That, yeah. that's, that's good character itself, isn't it? I think this has got to be the worst one I've heard. Oh, it was, it was amazing. Good start. Yeah. Trevor was under the impression that he was not going to be lucky and be able to save the day, that they are going to, because they've got their legal department on it, I imagine. <clears throat> but it was under the impression that it weren't going to work, that he was going to get done. What he's getting done for is not the being honest part. He's getting done for some kind of reckless driving, undue care and attention, uh, for hitting the bike. Yeah. Well, driving without due care and attention, yeah, it was. That's what it is. But you, haven't you got some, Paul? Haven't you got some drivers that have lost their license? Yeah. So what's, what's their stories? Do you know any of them? <sighs> There's a couple, but the one in particular that's been recent, he's recently getting his badge back, was that he had some points for speeding, I think six or maybe seven, and then he was on a normal cab shift and it was dark, and he was going across a mini roundabout <clears throat> and there was a cyclist approaching the roundabout and 
he should have given way to the cyclist, but he kept going. He didn't see the cyclist. I don't think he had much reflective clothing on or lights, but he did have a head cam with a camera on it. <laughs> and he's gone across the roundabout and he didn't give way and it's been filmed. He didn't have a collision with a cyclist, but a cyclist filmed it, sent it to the police and he got five points for that, which totted him over his limit of 12. He got a six-month ban from the DVLA, but he got an 18-month, what was it, 12? 18-month ban from TFL. Wow. And he's still trying to get his licence back because there's been delays after delays, um, but it, he's, you know, he didn't have any other trade. It's terrifying. It's yeah. the thing of TFL making no collision above the law. Yeah, wasn't the wasn't um, the, t- the one the common one what we're hearing recently with the f- telephone? Yeah, we've had a few drivers losing from from telephone, um, which we all know we can't do. Yeah, and this is that. getting so common now that people are getting caught. There's no excuse. But that one I thought was a bit strong because he he could have fought it. We talked we talked about it yesterday. He could have fought back a bit. He could have got a bit better defence where they could have said he wasn't wearing enough reflective clothing. There was no way he could see him. I've seen the video. It's so... Is it night time or daytime? Night time. And it's so innocuous. Like, you wouldn't... So like you could argue... Any of, us, any of us drivers could have done what he'd done. Yeah. Yeah. Did he have lights and everything else? What did he have on that? But it, it, you couldn't see. Because all you could see was his head cam pointing at our car. Yeah, that's, that's cab. All you could see was his... Like, you know when they're moving them around and they're coming up and they're describing it as they're going up and all that. He's done all that. And he's got... He's... he's Obviously, the, pl- the police mistake. are being told, aren't they? The crowd, they're being told to do this. One tiny mistake, and he's lost his badge for 18 months. <laughs> Strong, isn't it? And what happens when they get the, the badge back and all that? They're not, not, there's no like a, suspend, like a suspended sentence or anything like that if they do anything else. Is there anything else? Well, he was allowed to apply for it before his ban ended, and they said, you want, as, as long as there's no other driving offences until the time that your ban ends, you can apply for your licence back. Um, but he didn't have to do a mini knowledge or anything like that. Mm. He, ha- he got his, oh. He's getting his licence back. Um, so if, it, if something happens to say who's got an HGV and they, they lose it for 18 months, say it's a year more than the, their licence, they get their licence back, they can get their HGV, drive a 44-tonne Arctic, but can't drive a little cab. Yeah. Doesn't well, make any sense. It does mm. in a way. In my opinion, because oh, oh. you're driving a heavy goods vehicle, which is yeah. dangerous if you're oh. not driving it properly, but you've served your ban. Whereas the way that TFL look at it is you're carrying the general public, aren't you? But yeah, but you could, yeah, you but could run over the general public. HGVs yes. are the biggest killer of cyclists in this country. Yes. Yeah, I know. By far, they beat black cabs. Yeah, of mm-hmm. course. But, but uh, you're, tr- you're not carrying passengers, other people. That's the way they, that's the way they see it. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. Yeah, but Paul, now the you've hit, you've hit the, the comparison then with buses. Yeah, buses, buses kill more people than less cabs well. as well. Now, that's wrong. Yeah, well, what we should do... If the if bus it, should have the same as the mm-hmm. taxi, in my opinion. What it should do is, if, 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 do if it happens to anyone, they, they should immediately, they get their licence back, go for a bus job. <laughs> and then get their picture taken and driving a, uh, You're driving a, a TFL double decker bus. <laughs> Spot on. Shouldn't they? Yeah. They should Best all do idea that. I've heard. They should all do that, all get their picture done, all take it there. So I can't drive the little cab, but I can drive this great big red thing. Yes. Yeah. With uh, 80, what is it, people? So, yeah. 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 It just shows you how, how madcap this, is all, this all is. Yep. That you can drive a, a bus with school children on. Yep. Which is major general public. My kids, your kids, your kids. Well, like you can't take Giles from Euston Station, but you could yeah. also drive one of those minibuses you know? that, that do the, the hospital runs. Yeah, uh, and the most yeah. vulnerable in our society, you can drive all of those. Yeah, yeah, all going for their operations of poor souls and everything. Yeah, yeah. But you, but you can't drive. No, no, that's right. Rupert going to the yeah. To Why the are we bank? using Rupert and Giles? Eh? Why are we going middle class? Is it after the sandwich we just had? <laughs> But yeah, yeah, you can't you can't go to sexy fish. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any well, sense. Well, what about the other thing of it then? That the the guy who's on the bicycle is being used as a judge, jury, detective, and policeman on the one sole evidence of his video camera, and you're being prosecuted with no case. Yeah, if you committed like a more serious crime, that wouldn't be enough evidence. But but my man said he did it. That's the problem. <laughs> he said, I did it. I was there. Dave, we spoke about it yesterday, didn't we? My dad brought me up. No matter how red did you call, you That's didn't do it. Him. That's what I said <laughs> You know, there could have been a better defence. But then again, there could have been a different... 
well, set in a of sense, prosecution. He's good character. Yeah. <laughs> A better defence than I did it. <laughs> I hope he's not watching. <laughs> uh, my uh, my defence, Your Honour, yeah. is yeah. I did it. I was there. <laughs> I was there. I was there. You can't really say you didn't do it because your registration's been recorded. You well, know, you could, you could, you could negate the fact that there was no no problem occurred. Uh, whatever yeah. he's talking about, I don't think he was in any danger whatsoever. None. Uh, Tom Hartley had the similar thing with the too close to being the cyclist. Oh. Well, M- meet your half in it yes yeah, so the cyclist yeah. is now reported him for that nothing came of it I think that's what Tom was saying he got done for uh, but it, nothing came of it in the end but now the cyclist can say that you're you wasn't within the due distance yes well what you've got to definitely say every single time is I didn't do it and what did you use as your measuring gauge yes to, to gauge that and I yes. want you want more proof don't you yes the video footage for the speed cameras, they've got the dashed lines to tell exactly what the speed was. You'd have to have some sort of more evidence than that. I've had a couple of drivers where we've got the the uh, the, the letter about the distancing, and that's it's only been since they changed the highway code, where obviously cyclists have got busy with the new law, yeah, and so seen that they might they might be out with nick something out of it, and then they've gone. But again, we've had nothing back. I've two of the drivers that have had it. Neither of them, it was no further action. Why is there no law then such as cyclists can't drive on a pavement, but they should also not be allowed to drive in the road when there's a cycle lane? So you either drive in the cycle lane, but if you're driving in the road when there's a cycle lane, that would be an offence. Yeah, I know. Can I tell you why that wouldn't work? Why wouldn't that work? Because we don't have to drive in a bus lane. Even though there's a bus lane that allows taxis, we can still use the other lane. So they would say the same thing about us, wouldn't they? No, no. When there's a bus lane, you've got to get in that bus lane. You don't have to get in it. No, so cyclists don't have to get in the cycle lane. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Dave, take your lyca off and yeah. crack on. They need to get well, no, you got, you got, you got to be a bit of devil's advocate yeah, about you that. Do. You got, it's you a know. good shout. It's no, a no, shout. no, that wasn't. A, that, you're very good usually, but I'm not going to have that one. That no. one, no, that's not good enough. You can't no. go in room 101. No, yeah, that's not going in. No, they've got a cycle lane. If there's a cycle lane designated for cycles, they should be in that lane. Obviously, they can't drive on the pavement. So you're saying because they can drive on the pavement, they should be able to choose no, the pavement? Dri- no, not the pavement. Can't drive yeah. on the pavement. No one should be on the pavement. Come on. Um, I heard, and I don't know if it's still the case, is that the Metropolitan Police will no longer look to prosecute cyclists on the pavement. So they could, they, they can't technically, but they do, and they won't get prosecuted for it. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know what? I, when I was an HGV driver, I went on a course. We, we, you had to go on this cycle one, and you can imagine what it was like for the truck drivers with big bellies all going along. And um, <laughs> Not you, Dave, not you. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was uh, it was them that trying to show truck drivers what it was like to be a vulnerable. And I, I simply said, look, I know, I cross the road all the time. I know what it's like yeah. to be a vulnerable road user. Mm-hmm. You know, and trying to show us, and, uh, and most <coughs> HGV drivers are very safe. Like, most cyclists are very good. But yeah. they, it just is, the odd time things happen, didn't they? Yeah, a woman, she pulls up the, at the set of lights, right in your little blind spot down on the left-hand side, takes no notice of your indicator for turning left, sits right on the wheel arch, and then you turn left and she's underneath it and wonders why she got killed. There are sensors going along there. They should go off when someone's near it. But That's they, new, though. They, they have recent yeah, stats. Yeah, 20 years? 10, yeah, 10, 15 years. But... They go off. If they're not set right, if they get dirty or they get a move, mm-hmm. they will pick up street furniture or they will pick up people walking along the pavement. Yeah. So in the end, the alarms are going off all the time. It's like cry wolf. You're driving a truck and it's going off all the time. You're thinking, what? and it's just like you don't want to look anymore because mm-hmm. it's constantly going off. No side camera. Yeah, and you put the indicator on, you've got side camera, you've got cameras all around it. You've even got a camera on the driver as well. Your driver's being watched all the time. Yeah. And if, uh, if, he, if that driver does anything, they're fired straight away. Mm. You literally... They will, a judge would normally side with a cyclist or a pedestrian. Yeah, there's a tier, there's a tier, isn't it? Yeah, they, they will lo- always look to to compensate. It doesn't matter who's at fault. Yeah, they'll always. A give cyclist, them it's a pedestrian. The cyclist is wrong. Car, yeah. it's a cyclist. The car is wrong. Yeah. Um, and then when they was doing their show, they showed some clips and that to us, and uh, it was the Holloway Road they showed us. And uh, you know, you, they've got the cars parked in the bus lane in the in the bays. Yeah. They're in the bays where they should be, and then the cyclist is going up in front of you. And the, the question was, where would you like the cyclist to be? And what they want you to say is, away from the car doors. Yeah. You know, out. Like, you're all okay, case Put your hand up. Let, let, make sure I've seen you, like where you're saying on the blind spot. Wave out yeah. to the driver. Let's see. And then they say, they say, where would you like the, the cyclist to be? And I said, indoors. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I'm going to change that question. I'm never going to ask that. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> At home where it's safe, not out on the road. Well, that's a funny story as well that I, I can relate to because I actually had to do a speed awareness course recently and I did it online. 
So you you you're all on Zoom or whatever it's called, Google Google Meets or whatever. Yeah. And um, they show you this video of a driver in a normal car um, doing certain speeds and um, stopping. And at the speed limit, he stops before he hits the wall. But if he's three mile an hour over the speed limit, he goes another certain amount of metres and crashes into the wall. And he <laughs> he warned us all before the start of the video that he was going to ask us questions randomly. And he picked me first. So I thought, well, all right. What have you learned from that video, Paul? I went, well, that um, not that suddenly all cars have the same brakes. That suddenly <laughs> um, all cars have the same acceleration. That we commit, like all of a sudden everyone's brakes are the same. They've all got the same meat on the. Mm -hmm. He was like, well, that's not the point. I said, well, you asked me what I learned from it. Uh, all of a sudden, like everyone's got the same. Yeah, you're saying time. you're saying the equation can't be the same across it can't cars. Be. Uh, it's not a universal thing. It can't it? be. How do they? Yeah, that's not no. There's no education there. You know, um, I don't remember what it was, but it was like for seventy mile an hour, you needed seventy feet or whatever it was. Or was it? There was some feet really footage to every mile an hour, wasn't it? But he said it's, well, it's right. to do with the, what it's to do yeah, with based on based on cars from the sixties yeah. and fifties. Imagine 50s. what imagine what a brand new Ferrari oh. or Porsche would stop at yeah. now, stop yeah. the sixpence, wouldn't yeah. it? And I said, does it allow for regenerative braking? He said, what's that? And I went, oh, <laughs> you don't know? He mm -hmm. was like, no. I said, electric cars. He was like, oh right, yeah, I, I've never been asked that before. Mm. Um, so you know they're educating us, I suppose, but I don't, I don't know. It was just a bit strange, and I think you I think went on one seven years ago, and it was exactly, it looked like exactly the same video they were showing us. Yeah. So, so cars have not been upgraded in seven years. So seven years ago, so you never learned anything from the first one. <laughs> <laughs> you're but, still, but you're still speeded. <laughs> yeah. But funny enough, I was the quickest one there. But what I was going to say was, <laughs> well, you maybe you should get the embrace change. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, Tesla, isn't it? It's but, Tesla. But um, twenty miles per hour speed limit. I believe most of the people on the course were done at the 20 mile an hour speed. Limit. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's really difficult 20, I think it's, it's difficult because it's a complete change. It's a complete change for everyone. Yeah. And that's why I say it's difficult. If we had always drove at 20, if you learn and we drove from a hundred years at 20, then it would be easy, mm. but it's not. Everyone's right. been driving 30 that wasn't policed. So they, everyone was doing 35 or 38 and now we've basically halved it. But yeah. what they teach you, they teach you, um, the, the sp different speed limits and different roads. Like, you know, when you get a street light, you know that that's a 30, right? You you know that when you don't see anything on the road, it's a national speed limit. But but in London, it's split up too much. You'll be going down one road, and yep. you'll go from 20 to 30 to 40, and then back down to 20 again. And you can't concentrate on everything and then, s then be behave in a certain way. And I can understand why drivers are losing their licences for mm. speeding now. You know, it happens to all of us. It's, it's so difficult. Drive a bus. Yeah, yeah. get away with all of it. I, I, I don't know if I, I might be too old, but I, yeah. if it happens, I think I definitely would. I definitely would out of spite go and try and get a job <laughs> as a bus driver. Well, yeah. no, now you open up the other thing then. So can I go and drive PHV? Same law, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah they're, they're under the same, oh, dare I say it. So they can lose their licence as easy as we can? No. No, the buses can't, no. No, the PHV drivers? Yeah. Why? Why would they lose it? Yeah, the same that, the, as us? These, these these draconian laws that they've brought in at TfL, yeah. just, they apply to PHV as well. I believe. No, I don't. They do. Well, you you can get, you can get a job with six points. Job what? Uh, driving a bus, London bus. We're talking about private no, hire vehicle. Private private hire vehicle. vehicle. You're talking keep about up, Dave. public well, service vehicle, public service, PSV. Yeah. yeah. No part. No. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You I can. think you can get six points, can't you? And go and get a job yeah. as a bus driver. I believe you can, depending on which bus company it is, because there's quite a few of them now. It's not just one company, is it? Yeah, right. They're it's all different companies. They've got to so. be looking for bus drivers all the time. You always see them all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's on the back yeah, of the bus, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to drive this bus? Well, yeah, if I lose my cab licence, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to have that picture, but not that that, that would mean you've lost your licence. So no, I wouldn't like I want to see someone do this now. So if anyone's watching and they're in danger of losing their licence or they've lost their taxi licence, I want you to apply for a bus licence. You don't necessarily have to do the job, but I want the, we need this to happen. Dave, you've got you've got a Good point there, I believe. We're going to start a campaign. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We're going to have black buses. Black buses, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no ads. We just want them in uniform. 